Module 4, Lesson 5, Homework. Number 1. When someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Rosen Rosendale Elementary School, the 5th grade decided to use it to paint murals. They split the gallons equally among the four classes. How much paint did each class have to paint their mural? So they donated 14 gallons and they split the gallons equally among four classes. So we have 14 gallons split between four classes. So I'm going to draw my tape diagram and the whole thing represents 14 gallons and it's split equally four ways. Now we know 14 divided by 4 is equal to 14 fourths and let's figure out what 14 fourths is equal to. 4 can't go into 1 but 4 goes into 14 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. We subtract and get 2 so we have 3 and 2 fourths. So each of these is 3 and 2 fourths. So each class, each of the four classes gets 3 and 2 fourths gallons or 3 and a half gallons. Part B, how much paint will three classes use? Show your thinking using words, numbers, or pictures. Well, I'm going to use this picture, I'm just going to draw an arrow, and use the picture above. So three classes would be this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to draw some more arrows down here. So we have three and a half plus three and a half plus three and a half, and that would be equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, and 1 half plus 1 half plus 1 half is 3 halves, and 3 halves is equal to 1 and 1 half, so 9 plus 1 and 1 half will be 10 and a half gallons. C. If four students share the 30 square foot wall equally. How many square feet of the wall will be painted by each student? So now four students are sharing the wall equally. And it's a 30 square foot wall. So we have 30 square feet that four students are shared equally. That's going to be 30 fourths. We can draw it on here to represent that. So the whole is 30. Split it into fourths. So 30 fourths 30 divided by 4, actually I'm going to make it lower so I can solve it there. 4 can't go into 3, but 4 goes into 30. 4 times 7 is 28, so it can go in 7 times. So we get 7 and 2 fourths, which is 7 and a half. So each student would get either seven and two fourths or seven and a half square feet. What fraction of the wall will each student paint? So now we're looking at our tape diagram. So each student, student one is painting this part, two is painting this part, three and four students. So each student is painting one-fourth of the whole wall. Number two, Craig bought a three-foot-long baguette and then made four equally sized sandwiches within it. What portion of the baguette was used for each sandwich? Draw a visual model to help you solve the problem. So here's the baguette and he splits it into four equally sized sandwiches. So there's one baguette and it's split into four equal parts. What portion is used for each sandwich? So we're saying if the whole thing is one sandwich, each portion would be one fourth per portion, you could say. 
So then if we want to know exactly how much or how big each one is, the whole baguette is three feet and we split it into four parts, four equal parts. So three divided by four is three fourths. So each section or each sandwich is three fourths of a foot. So how many inches long is one of Craig's sandwich? Well, first we need to think about our foot to inch ratio. So there are 12 inches in one foot. So if we're taking our inches and making it into feet, we can kind of use our equivalent fraction to do that. So 3 fourths, I'm going to turn that into twelfths to see how many inches we would have. So I'm using 12 as the denominator because I want out of 12 inches. So 4 times 3 gets me 12. So I need to multiply 3 times 3 and get 9 twelfths. So I would have 9 inches per sandwich. Number three, Scott has six days to save enough money for a $45 concert ticket. If he saves the same amount each day, what is the minimum amount he must save each day in order to reach his goal? Express your answer in dollars. So he has six days to get $45. So here's what he needs. $45. And he needs to do it in six days. So let's do 45 divided by 6 would be 45 sixths, but that's a pretty tricky improper fraction. So I'm just going to divide. So 4 can't go in, 6 can't go into 4, but 6 can go into 45. Um, let's see, 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 7 is 42. So I think 7 is as close as we can get. 7 times 6 is 42. If we subtract those, we get 7 and 3 sixths, which is equal to 7 and a half. So in each day, he needs to make 7 and a half dollars. But 7 and a half dollars, it wants us to express that in money form. So think about a half dollar. If you had half of a dollar, you would have 50 cents. So this is equal to $7.50 per day is what he needs to save.